Let's start out by making a bleach solution in this five gallon bucket. I put in about two inches of household bleach, then added about 10 inches of water to make a five to one bleach solution. Let's carefully rinse everything with the hose and then wipe it down with the bleach. When I'm done, I just slowly pour it back into the tank. Try not to splash. Make sure you put all the lids back on. I'm just gonna put all this in my five gallon bucket, throw away these gloves and any tainted clothing in a plastic bag. I'll put my bucket away for next year. Now I'm gonna wash my hands with soap and hot water. Good, you're done with the inspection. Let's make it official. The local health department requires that we fill out a report of the inspection. On the back page of your inspection checklist is a website and instructions on how to verify with the health department that you've properly checked your septic system. If your health department offers online reporting, just log on and follow the steps. You've already written the information down on your checklist. Just enter that information into the online form and hit send. Well, that's it. We've inspected the septic tank, the pump, the sand filter, and the drain field followed the checklist, and filled in the inspection report. To complete the process, we need to submit it to the local health department. Good job. Now I just need to mark my calendar to remember to do it again next year. I can't wait. I've got a few tips to help keep your system working properly. Now that you know how to inspect your tank, let's quickly go over some ways to make sure that it keeps working for you for a long time. First, Try not to overwhelm the system by using too much water at once. Don't do the dishes and the laundry at the same time, for example. Too much water going into the tank might not allow time for the solids to settle out, and you don't want raw sewage exiting the tank. A leaking toilet can be a cause for concern. If your toilet runs or you suspect a leak, get it fixed. Put a little food coloring in the tank, and if you see it in the bowl, it's leaking. Try not to use the garbage disposal, as food waste can lead to problems in your system. And don't wash an excessive amount of grease or oil into your drains, or your scum layer will grow too quickly. Remember, the septic tank works best when it's a living environment inside. Try to minimize the amount of chemicals, cleaners, and detergents that go into the tank to keep it alive. Chemicals can be extremely harmful to the septic system, so don't discharge them into your toilet or sink. Contact your local health department for information on the proper disposal of pharmaceuticals and hazardous household waste. Oh, and your septic system should work just fine without the use of additives. We don't recommend that you use them. You may have a reserve area identified on your as-built drawing. This is an area in your yard that is set aside in case your main drain field fails and needs to be replaced. It's a good idea for you to keep part of your yard available for replacement drain field. And also, do not cover these areas with cement, blacktop, or any other materials that may interfere with the soil's natural ability to absorb and filter effluent. Don't park cars or other heavy equipment on your drain field, reserve area, or septic tank. You could damage the tank or compact the soil so it doesn't drain properly. You also don't want to plant anything with deep roots near your septic tank or over your drain field. The roots can damage the system. Divert the flow of water from rain gutters and basement sump pumps away from the septic tank and drain field. You don't want any additional water flooding your drain field. Yeah.